All right, guys. So hello. Happy Thursday. I am excited. We have a special guest with us on tonight. Um, I'm Carissa, Triple Diamond with It Works. We have Rusty here as well, Rusty Lackey. And uh, he's been with the company 20 years. And uh, we have a special guest speaking with you guys tonight. First off, I'm excited because this is someone that um, I've seen doing great things with the company, came in on fire, blowing it up. And not only just that, but also getting to meet him um, down in Florida back in May. That also helped out a lot because, you know, when you see social media and you see people on there, you want to actually be able to get to know people in person to catch their personalities and not just, you know, from what social media perceives as, but actually get to know the person. And I got to do so, you know, he got to see how crazy I am and, you know, and be able to yeah, just, you know, learn a bit about me and I learned a bit about him. And it was, he was very great. He's a great person. So I'm glad that we get to get him on with you guys tonight. Rusty got to be with him on the, um, on the island and um, cause he's won two winter circles and an island trip. So that's another thing um, as well, if you guys didn't know. But um, both of us got, got to see him and, and be around him and, and both of us had the same experience. So it's exciting to be able to have him on with y'all. Please be ready to take some notes because I want you guys to be able to have some takeaways from here that you're gonna also implement. On top of that, yes, I am recording it. So you'll have this to watch back because just like um, I know I will be, you will have to watch it back too. So I wanna bring on to you guys, um, Triple Diamond, had it still going with the momentum, so I don't think I'll be calling him Triple Diamond long. Um, Mr. Milton Burt. So come on on. There you go. <laughs> I'm here. Can you see me? Sure. I can. Awesome. Yes. <laughs> awesome. First, I have to give it back to you, Chris. I mean, I'm just so excited to be on this Zoom. I have a lot of respect for you and Rusty, and uh, I'm just excited. I'm excited, and I'm proud of what you two have been able to accomplish uh, in this uh, wonderful company. So salute to both of you. And I'm just excited to be here. I'm excited to answer all the questions you may have. And uh, I'm excited. So let's do it. Let's make it happen. All right. Well, the first one I want to start with is at the beginning, just in general, um, just so people can just understand and uh, know a little bit about you. Um, who are you? Where are you from? And when did you get started with It Works First? Great question. So my name is Milton Berg Jr. I am 32 years old. I have to get used to saying that because I just had a birthday, August 16th. Um, I'm a family man. I'm real big on family. I come from a great family. I love to have fun. I'm a professional network marketer. I've been in the industry for now six and a half, going on seven years. Matter of fact, January, what is it? January 26th of next year will make seven years I've been in the industry and uh, have really had a lot of success, thanks be to God, as well as, of course, having a great work ethic and the best team in the world. But uh, I'm just, you know, a person who likes to have fun, a competitor, uh, an entrepreneur. And how I was introduced to It Works, I was actually introduced to It Works uh, three years ago. Three years ago, I was at the peak of the, other, the past company I was a part of. I was like their golden child for a while. And I really didn't want to hear anything that was different from what I was doing. I was having success and I had a, the privilege to meet my sponsor three years ago, uh, fastest presidential in the entire company, Mr. Wilkins. And uh, when he shared it with me, I just, it was going in, in one ear and out the other. And, uh, but I still kept in contact with him because I just love who he was as a person. I respected him and what he's done in the industry. So I kept following him. I kept watching him. And it was funny because even though I didn't plan on doing It Works back then. God understood and knew why it was important for us to connect three years ago for such as a time like this one. So a little bit over 100 days ago, I knew I needed to make a shift in my network marketing career, meaning which company I was partnering with at that time. And um, I didn't know where I was going, but I knew where I wasn't staying. And the only person I could think of partnering with in the industry was Mr. Wilkins. So I called him Mr. Wilkins. I said, hey, you know, I've been following you. I've been staying in tune with your trainings and, and things you've done over the, you know, three years. And um, I want you to really show me again what you tried to show me three years ago. Show me, because I'm, I'm all ears now. I'm, I'm ready to make a, a ship. Show it to me. So we got on the Zoom right away. He shared it with me. And I was like, wow, I couldn't believe I had uh, said no all these, all these, uh, well, three years. So I saw it. I ran to triple in 90 days. 
helped a lot of team members have success, hit diamond, uh, hit emeralds, had rubies. My mom hit double diamond and just, you know, the rest is history. I love that. So first off, something you said in there that I love is the fact that you were already focused on the, the business you were in. So someone trying to come in with something else, trying to bring you off course as to which you were already, you know, listening to. I love that, that you were just head on focus. Somebody trying to show you something else. You're like, eh, in one ear, out the other, because I'm focused on what I'm doing. So I love that because that should be the mindset of everyone. If your passion is where it is, you know, you're like, okay, just, just not right now. Um, something else I have, because I love, I also heard, you saying that you, you started with the industry, which is like mid twenties. That's about when I got started with the industry as well. What, how did you get started even in this industry? What made you in the twenties decide to get started in this industry? Great question. I love that question. What made me get started? I was, again, I was 25 years old. And at that time I had a song on the radio. I actually used to be a recording artist and uh, we were putting in, I was putting, not we, I was putting a lot of money into it. I mean, my mother was supporting me, of course, but she's putting a lot of money into my music career. I was paying $5,000 for music videos because I wanted to do it different. I didn't want to do it like everyone else I saw my age doing it, where they were just looking like they wouldn't put no money in what they believe in. I've always been the type to, if I believe in something, I'm going to, I'm going to invest in it. I'm going to invest big, you know, go big or go home. So at the time I had a song on the radio. And I was, you know, of course, radio time costs money, especially when you're trying to get yourself out there. So not only was I paying for music videos, I was paying $1,500 a month for my son to be spent Monday through Thursday. And I just want to continue to do it on a big scale. And I was like, hey, you know, I need more income coming in to be able to fund my music career. And one day I was doing some runs, picking up at one of the schools that I used to pick up from because we also have daycare centers and different, you know, businesses, family businesses. And uh, a nice lady who happens to be, you know, my, my ace boom coon now and one of my diamonds in my organization, Jeanette Fiazzo, asked me to take a look at an opportunity. And I know her because I went to school with her daughter, me and her daughter the same age. And I said, sure, I'll look at it. You know, of course, you're Jasmine Bain's mom. And, you know, I, I'm, of course, I'll look at it for you and Jasmine. So I saw that opportunity and I just fell in love with network marketing. And to be honest with you, when I started succeeding in that, it was a new passion there for helping others. Like the music dreams kind of just went out the window. It was like, you know, it wasn't that I wasn't talented or I couldn't do it. It just was like, I had a new passion. So that's how I was introduced to the um, industry. Like seriously, a couple years back, like before then in 2013, I had stumbled upon the industry, but I never got a chance to really get my feet wet because I ended up, you know, going through a little health challenge, fighting for my life for two years. But as far as when I really was, you know, introduced to the industry for real, for real. That was, um, again, 2015. And that's when a person just asked me, uh, Jeanette Piazzo, to take a look at the opportunity. And I was like 98% of her business. And uh, her and her daughter, Jasmine, they were able to, you know, eat off of a nice residual based off of showing it to me. It was a real funny story. And this just goes to say how network, as a, network marketing works as a whole. You know, all it takes is one person that can change the whole game from you. You're only one person away from prosperity in your business. And that's pretty much what happened even with Jeanette and that other company. So uh, because I sh she shared it with me, her daughter sat back and uh, collected a big residual and uh, exciting. You know, it was real exciting times for her as well as myself. I don't know if my camera went out. Did my camera go out for you? I don't know why. I think someone keeps calling my phone. I don't know why they keep doing it. I got it on. I, one thing I have to learn, and maybe you can help me with this, is disturb. how to, how to, I put the phone on, do not disturb, no notifications, and people still get through. I don't, I do not understand this about Zoom. Maybe y'all have, maybe you all going to have to help me with that, but I'm sorry about that. Uh, team that's on here, please tell Gail I'm doing an interview. I'm sorry about that. I apologize. Go ahead. No problem. So uh, that was, that helped out a lot too, you know, because that's something that, uh, a lot of people, I'm, that, that threw me off just now, okay. So that was something that a lot of people um, probably would like to know. I mean, everybody started in this industry some way from somebody with some sort of mentorship or coming to them, approaching them. So I'm excited about that. I love that. Now, um, the next question I had, which I, I love that you gave this answer before and some people definitely didn't hear it before. And I wanted you to be able to reiterate it to them. Once you heard about this company, you, you've seen the plan, he showed you the plan, your mind is blown now that you've seen the plan and you get started with it. 
now why it works because you you're in the industry so you you've been able to see other things but you broke this down as to somewhere between seven to ten uh, reasons why it works so why it works Get ready great to question down. great question why it works and you're right i break this down um actually in all my presentations i do i always break down the 10 reasons why i chose it works the first reason leadership I'm real big on leadership. I understand that everything rises and falls with leadership. It's so important that you have the correct leadership. I knew about Mr. Wilkins prior to um, it, it works and what he was able to accomplish in his other company. And uh, that drew me to the company. Uh, also having a relationship with um, Cammy as well as Mark and, and Mike and Zach and the corporate team, many of those. And again, I don't wanna leave anyone out, but that meant a lot to me because I let Mr. Wilkins know because of what I've experienced in other companies that I was, I didn't feel comfortable giving my all to a company unless I knew I had not only direct access with the leaders such as, you know, him and, and uh, other presidentials and ambassadors, but I needed to feel comfortable and have some type of relationship with the Pentecost. And I let them know how I felt, you know, because I've, I've been in companies where you give a hundred hours uh, a week or, you know, like right now I'm in my office and sometimes I'll work to 3 a.m. and I'm giving it my heart sweat uh, my, my sweat, my tears, everything I got. And then let's say something happens and, and everything comes to a halt for whatever reason, you know, that's business, that type of stuff happens in whatever business you're in. But when you have a relationship with people who are really calling the shots and different things like that, you can really resolve a lot of stuff. So I wasn't willing to go and go as hard as I go because I go on a whole nother level without having that leadership and that relationship. Uh, with not only, you know, of course, Mr. Wilkins and access to him, but also, you know, the Pentecost Cami. So, you know, they really made me feel at home. They let me know they had my back. And I can honestly say from day one, they've been here for me. No matter what it is, they've been there. So that's number one. Second reason why uh, products really work. That's, that's simple in a nutshell. The products really work. It doesn't matter how much money you pay me. I'm not going to sell something and I'm definitely not going to do a good job at it if I don't believe in the product. Third reason why products versus services. Again, I've, I've made my boatload of money in the service industry. And uh, from, you know, understanding and being on both sides, it's a lot more money here on the product side, especially when you're talking about residual. And a lot of other uh, multi-millionaires in the industry, uh, people who've earned 30, 40 million, they always try to tell me that. And I always wonder why they didn't join me when I was in the service industry. And they was like, man, it's not you. You know, we know you're a workaholic. We know you're a great leader. But the, the amount of residual is too small there. So now being on this side, I understand that. And I actually used to be one of the ones that taught against product-based business. Like a couple of years ago, you, you, you know, you couldn't get me to sell a product. Not seriously. Cause I'm like, I'm not carrying around lotions and potions. I'm not selling products. Now you can't get me to sell a service. Right. Fourth reason, <laughs> um, perfect timing, you know, timing to me, this opportunity is more, it's more geared towards timing. Timing is more important than talent, in my mind. It's way more important than talent in this business, especially how the comp plan is set up. You know, um, I saw it in my own organization. When I launched, uh, so many people, because, you know, of my network marketing experience, I already had a network, different things like that, uh, people ranked up automatically because of how the comp plan is set up. You're building three teams. You have to help your team move up. You know, so timing is so important. I love that. I love the fact that um, low, low startup fee, low startup fee, aggressive compensation plan. And again, even with the timing, I love how um, this company is 98% women. You know, most people look at that as an obstacle. Like I'm not joining a company that's 98% women and I'm a 31, 32 year old African-American male. It's no one here that looks like me. It's, it's no male, it's no man here, you know? And what I looked at, just like what Mr. Wilkins looked at was, that's an opportunity. That's an opportunity to open up the door and be the one who, overrides all the men that started coming to this organization. I was sharing with our Rusty on the, on the trip when we were in the island, how we probably sponsored over 60 males in the last 30 days, you know, because we, we, our goal is to really change that belief that a lot of people have that this is just a woman, a, a, a woman thing, you know, and that's what I thought in the very beginning three years ago, but it's totally not that. So a lot of people may be on the Zoom like, oh, I'm a male. I don't see any uh, males. And I want you to know there are males here and they're definitely start, starting to come. But what I saw as far as timing from the timing uh, aspect of things was, hey, instead of going where people 
are expecting me to go with other companies. You know, there's tons of other companies. I don't have to name them out here, health and wellness companies, where you see a lot of African-Americans and stuff. Instead of going there where the path is already paved, how about you go over here, you do the opposite, and guess what? You paid the path for others to follow, all right? And I've learned that from, again, my experience in network marketing, where I went into cities where no one knew about the particular company I was marketing, and I look up a year, two years from now, from then, I'm overriding the entire market and I'm nowhere to be found, nowhere to be found. But now because I, I, I planted my I planted my flag there, look up and now all these people coming in. Same thing that's going to happen here. You're going to see a lot of men coming in. I'm not even talking about right now. I'm talking about two to three years from now, uh, different uh, places where it works never even been before. As far as a strong presence, you're going to start seeing that. Why? Because the seeds that are being planted right now. So timing. Uh, what else? proven system, the fact that it was proven, because again, I was not about to waste no time on, on no companies that haven't even been in business for longer than a couple of years. You know, I've, I've learned from uh, previous decisions, you know, you want to make sure that the system is proven. Uh, what other reasons? Um, proven system. Uh, also, the fact that we're talking about health, you know, to be able to focus on health and get paid the type of money it works pays the distributors is priceless. Because at the end of the day, Health is the most, in my mind, after God, the most important thing that we all have. You may think it's your mother, you may think it's your wife, your husband, but at the end of the day, if you're not healthy, you can't help anyone. So for us to be able to concentrate on our health and get compensated for it, it just, everything was just, it was just, it was the perfect, uh, the perfect combination. So yeah, low startup fee. Um, again, I mentioned that proven system, perfect time. And I'm thinking if I left anything out, I said aggressive compensation plan. So pretty much that in a, uh, in a nutshell. And I love, um, I also shared about the market share. So I love that, you know. I love that. So that's why I, that's why I needed everybody to understand and hear this because you've been out there. I've been out there. So I know myself, but, you know, hearing from other people also helps someone hear it even more. And then you breaking it down helps out a ton too. So, uh, Rusty, anything to add on what he said so far? Yeah, well, one, we had a lot of fun in the islands, but he and I stayed behind and just sat for a couple hours a day after breakfast and just uh, got to know each other. Um, we know each other from the Zooms. It's not like meeting a genuine person. And the one thing that really struck me uh, is we talked about a particular company you were with and how uh, – the bonus program is great, but the residuals out of hundreds of thousands of dollars, only like $1,200 a month. Will you expound just a little bit on how this compensation plan rewards us in every particular level of bonuses, but these big residuals is what's kept me in business going on 20 years. And I'm not talking about, I'm talking about our organization is into the billions of dollars and we are into the millions of dollars that, that we've earned. And we got a highly successful organization, but what keeps you in business long time, long term, as you stated, is these huge residuals that we are we are acquiring off of what we did 20 years ago. Yes, I love it. And that's what I was looking for. You know, joining uh, this company, I was looking for the residual, you know, because I've been in companies where I made a lot of money and you look up when you leave or if you decide to make a shift, your residual is pretty much pennies. Even though you made all this money, it was off of really weekly bonuses, uh, which is great. But at the end of the day, I wasn't interested no more in just having a high paying job, which means you could never really stop building it and take a break and say, hey, I'm going to take um, a month to visit with the family or whatever, because it was all all your money really was just tied to weekly bonuses. And here it's like we have both. Not it's like we have both. Uh, not to mention another thing I was familiar with in the industry, the code of comp plan. I'm familiar with where the comp plan doesn't let you promote unless certain activity happens in that particular code. Being a part of this company, you could be a triple diamond, you know, and still sponsor someone and place them under someone that may be in your double diamond code and you still get the code and you can still move up to presidential based off of what happened in the very beginning of your career and it works. So, it's just, I've never seen anything like that, ever. I've never seen anything like this in my life. So I'm excited, I'm fired up to be able to have the best of both worlds. So yes, uh, uh, it works as like no other. So you and I were there, we heard what the man said. We, we, we spent a great amount of time. We, <laughs> this is the most fun I've had in a couple of years because we haven't traveled. But we heard uh, what, he's, what we're fixing to do. We're fixing to take this company to a whole nother level. 
And uh, I looked at your, you and your, your wife's eyes and lovely meeting her. And I think she really sees our culture of people. Uh, we talked about the culture that we've represented and we built around a great product line, a great compensation plan for the last 20 years. Um, uh, when he told us that you're going to increase your income, what we're doing now by 50%, and I need people to understand that 50% is a lot of money. They're, they're taking money away from people now. But as you continue to grow that 50% compound on every level, would you like to expound on what you and I had the privilege to sit there and listen to? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> he just said, I mean, they all said just what's coming in the next 90 days is going to be like never before. If you thought you had big checks before and it works over the past couple of years, they pretty much said you haven't seen anything yet. So he was just talking about how important it is to have a sense of urgency. And, you know, for me, I got excited, not just off of that. I'm already excited just by what's here. You know, again, like I said, I've never seen this type of income uh, allowed for distributors to make in, in other companies I've been a part of. So I'm jacked off of the regular comp plan. So uh, the fact that they're adding more to it, that's even more excitement. But uh, the thing is, what I got from this was just a sense of urgency as far as, you know, when they start adding and putting more money on a plan and, and different things like that, it is going to create momentum. And those that are taking action now are going to really reap the benefits, you know. So a lot of people have this thing where I guess, you know, you can say it's true. A lot of people say that in August and these months, you know, it's real slow in network marketing. And me, I don't really claim that. I mean, I know that may be the, the stats, but I look at it as a time to go even harder, a time to, to set yourself apart from all the other leaders. Because while other people are in that mindset, you're building the business, you're working, you're setting yourself up for the big mo. So, but yes, I was definitely excited about what he said. Uh, because again, it, it just, when you think it can't get any better, it's like, wow, it's, it's going to get even better. So very exciting. So let's expound on something else we learned. We're not chasing ranks anymore. We don't care if you recruit 60 people or 150 people, we're not going to recognize that any longer. Oh, if that's what you do, that's great. We're more into duplication. As we come into next month, uh, we, we talked about you're going to get paid to help people duplicate. And you want to expound on, I saw the look in your eyes when he said that, that for the people we're, we're helping get to the next level, there's going to be something major in that for each of us uh, that's been here. While even a new person starts is going to run out of the gate, making possibly a full-time income. And uh, that's exciting to me, Bill. Very, very exciting. And yes, that's what he shared. He said pretty much. I think he was even talking about a lot of the people who have maybe had their uh, fun in the sun and they've hit ambassador or double ambassador. What he was saying was that they're going to start rewarding the people that are actually out working now and, and making sure that they're teaching duplication versus those that are just, you know, number one, those people that have had their fun in the sun and just, of course, you know, some people, of course, they're going to have more volume than you if they've been in 10, 12, seven years longer than you. But they were saying that they're going to start rewarding people based off of the efforts that they're putting in now, um, as well as the people that's teaching duplication, the people that's really out there teaching others how to duplicate versus those that's just going out doing everything for everyone. So, yes, that's definitely what uh, they said that they're going to start doing. So it's just a time for us to roll up our sleeves, go out and make sure we're teaching duplication so that others can have success. And those people that are committed to the process and committed to working can also be recognized. Yeah. Well, last but not least, for what Milton and, and Carissa and I are trying to get across to you, don't wait till September. Because what we're talking about is layered leadership here. That's how you stay in business many, 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 many years. And you don't have to jump from company to company. You can do this one, build it tight, build it right the first time. And Milton, would you say that you and I will be in business playing on the islands in the next 20 years together. I mean, you've met my children, by my kids are on here just because Milton's on here, uh, because we FaceTime while we we're in the islands. He hadn't got a chance to meet the rest of my family. Uh, would you say that we'll be island hopping 20 years from now have it on a bigger, grander scale? Yes, yes, we will. We would <laughs> definitely uh, be on many, many trips for many, many years to come. You know, like I said, I really feel that this is my home. I'm so grateful to be here. You know, it's home and you know, this is this is the greatest, the greatest opportunity in the entire world. It's just, are you going to execute? Are you going to go out and do what you need to do in order to reap the rewards? You know, and uh, I'm excited. So, 
yes, we will be on many, many trips for many, many years to come. Uh, would, 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 you, would you agree with me that the magic is in the taking the, the uh, radical action right now? Don't make an excuse as to why you can't do it. And, you know, the excuses ain't got you, got you to where you are at this point. But would you say the magic is in the, the massive action, just doing the simplicity of how we've got this thing up, the system that we have, just go out and make sure you're getting that done and teaching it, and they're going to be rewarded. Would you agree with that? I, I agree 100%. Uh, definitely right now is not the time to sit down. It's the time to go to work, go to action. And, and again, I, I actually learned this from um, the actual matter of fact, he was the, I don't think he, no, he doesn't own the company no more. The, the company I was a part of, a billion dollar owner, he ended up selling the company. And one thing he always stated, and it just, it stuck with me. It still sticks with me till today is past success does not guarantee future success. So even my story, you know, my, that story is old. 90 day triple, that's old. I got to go out and create a new story. It doesn't matter what I've done in the past 90 days, however many days, that stuff is old. You know, it does not matter. Uh, it doesn't matter a lick right now. What matters right now is what I'm going to do today and the stories I'm going to create today and the future stories. So, you know, a lot of people, and I used to be one of those people as well, get caught up on past success. And then, you know, when he kept, when he said it to me a while ago, it's like, wow, you know, it means nothing. You know, it means nothing because he was actually talking about him, you know, bringing that company to a billion dollar company, all that other stuff. And he was like, that doesn't mean anything. It's, it's the past. So the question is, what are you going to do today? What, what new stories are you going to help create? What new leaders are you going to help raise up so that they can have success stories? So with me, like my, my opinion, my story already old. I, I, I want to hurry up and create a new story, you know, and help others create a new story. So the only way that's going to happen is by going out and create and having massive action. That's the only way. And it starts with the leaders. So if you're the leader of your particular team or your particular group, you know, it starts with you. And I, I, I train on that. I, I teach on that. You know, I never, ever have seen anyone in my downline outwork me, even though I've always, for the most, well, I've always had the highest position, you know, and, and different things like that. But still, nobody is going to outwork me or work me. Nobody's going to uh, be in the office longer than me and strategizing and thinking about this and thinking about that uh, more than me. So I do this because not only I have a, a work ethic, a crazy work ethic, but because I understand people will never do what you say. They will only do what you do. So you can't expect to have a team of, of uh, people with mama mentality, killer instinct, and you don't have a killer instinct. And you're not a, a master recruiter. Uh, too many times, a lot of people just say, oh, I, I can't wait to recruit the next Rusty, you know, or or, uh, you know, the next superstar or the next done, you know, instead of saying, you know what, let me become the next Rust. Let me become the next Rusty. Or matter of fact, let me be better than Rusty. Let me out, you know, do Rusty or whatever. They, they are comfortable with waiting for the next superstar to come instead of becoming that person. So with me, even right now, we have events almost every single day. We're on like a 90-day a blitz right now, especially when September comes, you know, we're really hitting it hard because, we want a September to remember. So, you know, Zooms every day, Blitz every day. You know, it's, it's nonstop work. And that's really the, the truth. And that's even how you got to where you're at today, uh, Rusty. And got a lot of respect for you, top income earning the entire company here and your story and what you did when you first got started. I know a lot of my team, are they're excited to hear about that as well because I shared it with them how you were working 18 hours a day. And when I was talking to you in the island, I said, yeah, I'm definitely on the right track. Because that's what I do. And, you know, sometimes, you know, you have to just uh, absorb and have that, you know, iron sharpens iron talk because you just need to verify that, yep, you're on the right track. You're definitely doing it right. So, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's time to uh, definitely put in massive action. It is the time. The time is now. Well, you know, um, the honor was meeting you over in the islands and building this relationship, and it's going to last our lifetime. But what he told you about massive action – Talking action is different from taking action. The magic of living a free life and owning your time and being a full-time family, that was that was the, the part that excited me. Mark said you could be a full-time family because he had already done it. I was looking for somebody who was already where I wanted to go, and I said, just tell me what to do because this is my first hurrah. And when I, when I looked at how everything was designed, I said, if I can do it for the bank, I can do it for me. And I come home and my wow was my two little girls. And then in 30 days, they turned into my wow. And we were 
18, 20 hours a day. We had no social media, fax machines, uh, and the internet was in the, the real infancy. And when I say that, we worked the time zones and we three-way phone calls and, and phone calls all day long. We burnt these office phones up and I would still have my headsets on, hugging my kids when they come home, daddy's home. And he don't have to fly back out and be gone for three weeks. And when they turned into my wow, my passion kicked in and it's still here. I'm still as excited today as I was the, the first, second, third day, the first month. And by the way, that team grew to 635 people in a 28 day span. And I'm still here pulling residuals off of what we did the very first month. Now, if you have something that will, uh, that will do what we just told you, see the 20 years of before and afters is here. If you've got something, you can show me and Milton and Carissa and Mr. Pentecost, and you can show me those bona fide before and afters, you might get our attention. But if you can't, you probably need to go with what we've already created. Because the one thing I love about this team, we are one team, one mission. Upline, downline, sideline, crossline, it does not matter. We're all family. That means we're unified. And as you become unified as an organization, nothing can beat a unified organization. It's layering the organization with leadership. That means you're, you're teaching them your hand up, bring one up, as, and they're going to duplicate your efforts. I promise you. That keeps you with the same deal in 20 years. That's why Milton and I just kind of made a pact. We're going to be traveling the world with it. works global in 20 years. and puts me 40 years in the deal. So I guess I'm the grandpa. But you know what? What I've done in the last 20 does not define what the holy hell I'm going to start. I'm doing now. Because it's going to be a September to remember. This will be the fourth biggest run I've ever had in my entire life. And this will dwarf the other three runs that we've already had. And I'm going to promise you, if you make up your mind and get your mind right, when you walk into this run with us, the, the path is already paved. The leadership is already here. You're going to have to get that hunger that you've got deep inside. And it's going to have to, the passion comes uh, from within. You're going to have to have love in your heart, heart in your love. And when you go out and share this with people, I didn't say sell it. I said share this with other people. Number one, you will develop a product story. And if you develop a product story and help other people do that, money is only a byproduct of how much effort you're willing to put into helping somebody else grow. I didn't say go to the next level, grow to the next level. And I promise you, he was in the room with me. You're going to be rewarded bigger and better than you've ever been rewarded. I don't care what you've done. Me, I'm not the, at the top of uh, the number five bank from the Federal Reserve. I'm going to be rewarded in the next month bigger than I've ever been rewarded in my entire life. But you know why? I believe I deserve it. I believe my kids deserve it. I believe Milton and his wife deserve it. I've been up at Carissa's house and her and her children deserve it. Every one of you deserve it. And when you make up your mind, I deserve it. You'll get off of your ever expanding posture, sitting in a lazy board recliner, watching the, the mentality of a six year old. You'll start to take this thing serious. And once you get a taste of this, it turns you on. You have no problem putting in the hours to make it happen. You put in 40 years or 40 hours a week and you end up with nothing. And you can put this, that kind of work into this and then have a wealthy person that creates a legendary legacy, Carissa. I love it. Sorry. I love it. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Let me cut you off, Chris. Go ahead. No, you're good. I said I was laughing at the comments. I, I don't know his marital status. Uh, so uh, the next question I have for you guys was, um, I mean, for you is um, in reference to training your people. You know, I have ADD. So something throw me off. I don't forgot everything I'm going to do. So uh, in, question, in reference to training, just uh, training your people, you're recruiting massively. Your team is enrolled with massively, massively. How are you training? Great question. Great question. Um, how am I training? Well, I have systems. I will tell you, I have created systems. Uh, anything I do, especially in this stage of my career, I'm only one person. So, you know, I encourage any team leader to create systems for your team to win. I always feel that, you know, with me, I'm real hard on myself. So if my team wins, it's my fault. If they're losing, it's my fault. So what I try, what I do not try, what I do as a leader is I, you know, create different systems. And when I say systems, just uh, different instructions for them to do when signing up, after signing up, uh, the verbiage that you need when you're, um, when you are gathering distributors and customers, because again, it is very important that you master the approach of network marketing. Most people fail in network marketing, uh, not only because they have a horrible work, work ethic and they don't you know, give it enough time, but really they don't know how to approach people. They don't know how to get people to watch the video. They don't know how to 
gather customers. So I pretty much just, you know, take them through training uh, material that I've created, just me talking and letting them know what to say, what not to say. And that's pretty much it, you know, but I, I'm always creating systems all the time. I'm always um, thinking of new ideas and my brain just, it never, it never stops thinking. You know, I was talking to Mr. Wilkins, uh, my, my sponsor and my brother and, um, you know, even something he said on one of the calls a while ago, what was that, a week ago, he was talking on a call and he was talking about how one of his uh, mentors or I don't know, past mentors or more, more than likely one of his mentors still, I don't know, but he was talking how he was talking to this gentleman and he was asking him and this guy at the time who's a legend in the industry was doing $1.3 million a month. And he was asking him, man, you know, what are you doing to do $1.3 million a month? That's crazy. You know, that's the same money. We talk about a month, not a year. And he said, I'm no longer uh, working so hard as far as, you know, <laughs> he said, I'm working the business in my mind. I'm, 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 I'm working the business in my mind. And he said, when he first said it, he kind of like, oh, my God, this guy didn't really hit it big. He can't even tell me how he's making $1.3 million a month. You know, but what he was saying was he's always thinking. So he's always strategizing like, OK, what events need to take place to trigger this type of action? OK, what uh, uh, flyers need to be created to create this or what needs to ha happen to do this? So I'm always creating different things to stand out. And, you know, because I'm real competitive. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm super competitive. So it reminded me of the call we was on with Shari Rogers. And she was saying how, you know, her and the team, they create systems and different things. And, you know, that's what keeps them with the edge, you know. And, uh, yeah, so, but, again, to answer your question, just different videos, different exercises I make them go through before even going out there to even say anything, because a lot of people, I will tell you this, they make a mistake. They just sign people up and they just say, oh, okay, go get distributors, go get customers. And it's like, you didn't even really prepare them for what they need to go do. And you could actually end up losing someone really good when you don't properly equip them to go out and do what needs to be done. So yeah, that's, that's, that's that in a nutshell, you know? Well, I got asked this question and I think it's a pretty good one because, um, you are competitive, you are on your grind, and you are laser focused. What's a day like in the life of you? <laughs> a day in the life of me. Great question. That's a great question. Um, I wake up, like I, it's hard for me to sleep. It's crazy. No matter how early I try to go to sleep, I still don't go to sleep till like 1 in the a.m. Then I'll get up, like sometimes I'll get up at 5 or 6, and sometimes, I'm not going to lie, I'll sleep in like these last couple of days, I'm not going to lie because I know what I have to get ready to do another 90 days. It's like, I'm, I'm, I'm preparing myself for, you know, all this touring we're about to do. Like we're about to be in Antioch, Illinois, Saturday, then back in Crete, Illinois. Then I'll be flying to Texas, Dallas and Houston, and then uh, Pennsylvania and uh, somewhere else I have to go. Um, I forgot, I gotta go look at the calendar, but I, I know what's about to happen. So these last couple of days may not look like what September is gonna start to look like, but when I'm in the middle of a run, like when I'm about to do a whole nother 90 days, uh, it's just nonstop grind, nonstop showing the plan every day, Zoom every day, live every day, showing the plan, three-way call, just nonstop, especially when it's a certain goal that I put out there um, in order to, you know, and I want it to be accomplished. So for example, when we first came into It Works, you know, the goal, <laughs> and even though I fell a little short, but it's all right, you know, was to really, I told Mr. Wilkins, our goal was to go presidential really, in that time frame and, and try to, you know, not try to, but, you know, get his record. That didn't happen, which is fine, you know, but, you know, that's how competitive I came in because I understand, especially when you are shifting gears, going to a new company, it's all about the story. The story is what sells, you know, so even though that story is old, a lot of my money come in from that old story we created, not just my story. Shout out to Hyper Jack. You know, he went diamond in 15 days. Shout out to my, my mother. She went double diamond in like, 30 days or whatever, you know, uh, other people on this call that went diamond and emerald and all those other people, you know, it's the story is what sells. So when you first come in the first 90 days, I already knew I was, it was going to be some late nights. It was going to be some nights in the office at three in the morning, four in the morning. It was going to be some times where I'm going to forget to eat. I'm not going to be able to make to gym because I know we have to get that story. The story is what sells. And then of course, now, of course, as we know, which people talk about summertime, different things, now we've done that run, we create that story. Now it's like, okay, who do we have 
that's still here because you got people coming in, coming out. That's with any business. You're going to have people in, you got people out. But you, then you're all able to see, like what I'm able to do this month is look at my notes, look at my notebooks. Okay, who's still in the game? Who still has a pulse? Who's, still, who's ready to run again? Who's ready to create new stories? You take those people and you go out and you go get new people and you rub with those people for the next 90 days. And then by that next 90 days, you'll see ambassador, presidentials, triples. And then it might be like a time where I kind of like, okay, gearing up for the next 90 day run. But, you know, I don't, I don't stay, I don't stay, uh, <laughs> I don't stay, I don't stay not moving at a fast pace pretty often. Like I said, it, it may be, you might catch me five, seven days out of a month before about to go on a big run where I'm getting up at eight, nine. But for the most part, I'm up 6.30, 6.30, I'm asleep maybe one. And I'm just always thinking, how can I be better? How can I do this? I'm, I'm really starting to really uh, think my way through this because you get to a certain point where, you know, you can burn yourself out, you know? And again, like I said, there's things that I want to do still, you know, as far as, you know, family things, other different things I want to do. So I don't want to, I don't want to work myself into a hospital, but again, I do know I'm going to work hard. So now it's like, okay, let's start thinking this way out. But to answer your question, just working hard, handle, handling, everyday things in life, family, a grandmother, uh, real close to my mother, you know, uh, family, just, just things like that, but also working my tail off and being an example for my team so that they don't make excuses. So uh, I do this so I won't be disqualified when I'm bringing a message to my team on like Mondays and Fridays, we have prayer calls and Mamba mentality, prayer slash Mamba mentality calls and I'm training them and different things. So they're looking at me, I can't be preaching something and not being an example. So. Just making sure I'm not being outworked. That's all. Well, what about the factor that, um, you know, there's other people on here that uh, don't have any kids yet. And, um, you know, people like me, we have a why as to family, want to be home with our kids, um, that type of why. But then you'll have others that don't have kids yet to have that as their why. What would you say is your why to why you grind the way you grind? Great question. Why I grind the way I grind? And uh, I mean, it's crazy because a lot of people say that, you know, <laughs> they say, well, if I had your time, you know, I'll be able to do this, do this. But I, I have a lot of stuff going on. I will tell you this. And I, I do have four bonus uh, children uh, that I do love. And, and again, they're up in age 18, 17, uh, about 15. And the baby is about to be 10 next month. And again, I'm not really you know heavy heavy you know and like as far as doing all of the stuff that mommy's doing all that but uh, i got a grandmother that suffered from uh dementia uh that uh you know i we help take care of i help my mom with that because that's a lot on her i mean we i have a lot of a lot of fires going on every day but um you know what drives me is just wanting to be successful just want to win like i hate i hate losing <laughs> i mean if i could sum it all up I, I hate it. I hate it. Uh, losing is almost like death to me. I mean, it might sound scary, but it just is what it is. It's like, I don't know. I think I'd rather you like shoot me in my leg, like not in my head or something, but like <laughs> just to lose, like even with trips, like the five-star trips, you know, I, I'm grateful for those trips, but I was telling Cammy, like even in other companies, you know, I've, I've always won those trips back to back to back to back. Like never missed a trip because it's like, I don't, I don't really, it, it's not about the trip. You know, we all can travel, you know, and do different things. It's about being known as a winner. And when you have that type of mentality, you don't want to just be a, a regular distributor that like everyone else, you know, you don't want to just be where nobody knows who you are. Like I feel offended if people don't know who I am in this company. You know, that was part of the reason when I came in, I said, oh, they, they, they might not know me now, but they gonna know me. Even on the first trip, when I met you, you know, I was letting everybody know. And I know they were shocked to see me. I was the only male on the trip. Well, I take that back. Adrian was on the trip. He was another double dime. And I, and I was, you know, the only African-American male on the trip, a builder. And uh, they was like, you know, who is he in this? And I said, oh, don't worry, you'll know me. I'll be on the next trip. And they're like, oh, okay, we'll see. <laughs> and then they saw me on the next trip. And then I was like, oh, don't worry, I'll see you at the island. They're like, how you just know he gonna make it to the island? Oh, I'll be on the island. You know, so you gonna know who I am because I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna accept losing and I'm gonna do whatever it takes. I'm, I'm gonna win by any means necessary. So if that, if that means, uh, working 18 hours in a day like Rusty did, that's what I'm gonna do. Because I, I can't, I, I have to, when I leave this earth, other than being known as a child of God, they gotta have winter tied to my name. Or it's just, yeah, I don't know, it's just, it's just not normal to me. It's not. 
So, yeah, that's that. That's what motivates me, winning. Winning, I've never done drugs in my life, never smoked. In 32 years, I've never smoked in my life. I've never drank alcohol, believe it or not. Never had even a sip of alcohol. Never smoked any type of, uh, no type of, nothing. But winning is my drug. That's my drug. And it's like, yes. you know, that's, that's what it is. All right, let's, I got one more now. Now that you got that, now that you have said that, now I want to know what, what the inspiration as far as waking up every day and having this, this uh, mentality, like is you just wake up with it. It's, I know there's days you don't feel like doing nothing, but you still push yourself to do it. So what's like, uh, it, it's, it, it, it just, is it written somewhere? Like I keep my stuff, coffee's her drug, Jesus. Uh, I keep my stuff written around me because I'm visual. So I have to read, I read everything in the state. It's, it's like a, in my sight, in my mind type of mentality for me. That's the way I visually learn. So what, what way keeps you pushing? You have stuff written around you or what, what keeps you going? I have stuff on my phone. Like, for example, I'll show you this. Well, I got three phones going. I got this phone. I have that phone where I can see what you all see. And I got this phone. But when I first, this phone right here, if, if I could show it to you, You'll see it's the um, it's the uh, the comp plan. So it was the first thing I saw. I'm trying to see if I could share my screen. I don't know if I would have to be the host, but um, let me see if I could show you all. Matter of fact, can I show? Am I the? Can I can I show them the screen, or, can, or you have to make me the host? Okay, you just okay. made me the host. All right, let's see. Hold on one second. Give me one second. So I'm gonna show you all this. One second. Um, share screen. Hold on. Let me see. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I see. Different. I'm the host. I'm the host. Share screen. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Um, so when I first started, this was my screensaver, which you all know what it is. You can see behind all the other stuff. It was the comp plan. Like, so I knew where I was going before even I, I even really started running. I had that on my phone. On the other phone, if I showed you the other phone right now, which is showing me what you all see, it's the, that one was the diamond to ambassador this one is showing the distributor to emerald and this phone right here i got four phones but this phone right here is showing black diamond right there because i said hey i gotta stop thinking ambassador i gotta think black diamond we all know what black diamond is it's um where you earn over a hundred thousand dollars a month for six months consecutive so mm -hmm. that keeps me motivated also just thinking of um winners that have come before me and not just in um and in, in network marketing but also just like kobe bryant he motivates me my angeline who passed away she was very successful winner my uncle mike i come from a very uh competitive family a family full of leos uh and just people who are just competitive they just want to win they're gonna win in business they're gonna win in whatever they do so i feel like i kind of got it honestly and then just like i said just Man, just knowing that I'm not even where I want to be at yet. There's levels to this thing. You know, you got some people in network marketing that's impacting, you know, um, millions of people a month. You know, a lot of the people in the industry doing things. So I, I got work to do. So that motivates me. Also, to answer your question, I'm going to read something to you. I made a post uh, about this, something that you just said. I'm going to read to you all. It's very powerful. And you said, what when you don't feel like doing it, what's going to keep you? And this is a post I made. This was actually on a five-star trip with my previous company, I was actually uh, on a run as far as with my weight gain and different things because I'm a vegetarian and I was doing like 300 push-ups a day. And it was times when I was building a business all day and I wasn't able to get in the gym in the, in the beginning of the day. And it would be like two in the morning and I have to talk myself into doing this because I was doing them on live and I didn't want people to feel like, oh, he quit, he, he, he a loser. So I actually, uh, was out there on a five-star trip and I made this post so you'll get where I'm going with this. I'm looking for it. It's coming up right now. This is what I said. I said, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I know it's coming up. Let me read it to you all. It's coming up. It's, it's really powerful, especially if you apply this to your life. Come on now. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Uh, hold on, you all. Bear with me. I'm going to find it. I'm going to find it because I, I got to share this with you all. It's powerful. And if you apply it to your everyday life, it's going to bless you. Come on, where is this post? I, I know I passed it. Uh, it's crazy. <laughs> oh, here it is. Here it is. Wait, I just saw it and it just disappeared. Okay, here it is, right here. 
I made this post April 30th, 2018. I was in Phoenix, Arizona on the Five Star Trip. I said, the biggest battle you will ever face in life is the battle between what you know versus how you feel. You cannot make important decisions in life based off of how you feel because your feelings are stupid and they have no brain. Just as your brain has no heart or feelings. That's why when a person goes with their brain, they seem heartless. And when a person goes with their heart or how they feel, they seem thoughtless. For example, I really didn't feel like getting up early today going to the gym, uh, but I had to overlook how I felt and ask myself, what do I know? What are the facts? And the facts are the facts. And they will never, ever change, which is pretty much my goals don't care about how I feel. And if I don't put in the work, I, will, I won't get the results. So the moral of the story is to always go with what you know when making important decisions in life. Always take time and ask yourself, what do I know? What are the facts? It would definitely help you make great destiny decisions. So that's something that come to my mind. Like it, it, my, how I feel is, is dumb. It just, it just doesn't, it doesn't matter. You know, what are the facts? The facts are the facts. If I, if I don't go out and produce, I'll never be number one income earning at works one day. I'll never make it to top 150. Like that's something I'm going to do. Like it's already done. I'm telling you it's done. You know, I will be at the top 150 as far as earning. Only the reason I went in it this time is because I came in too late, you know. But I'm not saying it to be cocky. I'm telling you what's going to happen. And that's what leaders like Rusty and, and you, Carissa, people, these are the decisions we make in the beginning. So before I came here, we already saw everything that's happening, all this uh, five-star trips, the recognition. Like, we saw all that. We, that, that it, was no, it, was no, it was no doubt. It was already done. We just had to go walk this thing out and put the work in. So just, uh, yeah, just knowing that I can't go on how I feel. Because there's a lot of times I don't feel like doing stuff. I'm telling you, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm being honest with you. There's times where I don't feel like, I, I team will tell you, I'm asleep. I, I go to sleep late, two, three in the morning. I'm, I'm up working on new systems and new material. And then I got to get up and do a call and this and that. And I sometimes don't feel like it. But what I do is I talk myself into it. I say, come on, let's go. And the same way you could talk yourself out of stuff, you talk yourself into stuff. And that's what I'm really good at doing in different areas. So, yeah. Man, if y'all ain't learned something just then, I better not ever hear nobody nothing for that day. You better do something because that that right there was just like, wait till I get the recording back. That's going on one of the mad scientist walls. I'm writing that down. So uh, last but not least, uh, to end it, because of all that you guys learned at the at the island, and y'all got all these secret sauce tips and stuff like that. Where you want to leave everybody to finish off this month strong and be ready for for all uh where are we on September? Man, um, as far as be as I learned a lot. I learned more <laughs> from just. I feel like those trips for me, you uh -huh. know, because we know what we need to do. I, I tell this to everybody, man. This business is not complicated. It's like every other business, pretty much in the industry. You gather a handful of loyal customers and you teach others how to do the same. It doesn't matter whether you're selling a product or service. You gather a handful of loyal customers and you teach others how to do the same. And you do the same thing over and over and over and over and repeat. Same way I just shared with you how we're about to do the same thing we did for the first 90 days. Just probably on another level. Why? Because we know we need to get that momentum back up and get geared for what's ready to come. So it's just all we're going to do is repeat the same work, same work, maybe go a little harder, travel a little more different states and open up a couple more markets. But at the end of the day, we're doing the same thing. We're just showing the plan. But what I got, it was a couple of things I got from that uh, winter circle trip. You know, Rusty was the highlight of the trip, you know, just talking with him and his beautiful wife and, uh, you know, just hearing how he, you know, really just laid it all on the line when he first got started 20 years ago before they had all this social media and host posts and all this stuff. And just it's hard work. Pick up the phone, you know, even share with me some of his, you know, biggest months and it works, which was incredible, you know, and that was the highlight of the trip. But just being around competitive people, being with the Duns, you know, uh, talking to the Duns, uh, number one income earners, and it works about uh, why I need to read that book, Relentless, because they know I'm a big Kobe fan. And I had the book, Cammy gave me the book, and I just never got a chance to read it. So now we're going to read it together as a team. And, and it was funny because, you know, uh, it was me, him, and Stephanie sitting like at the last night. We were, you know, I was in the middle. Uh, uh, Joel was here, Stephanie was here. And she was just telling me, you know, how 
competitive she is. And he was telling me the same thing. And he was telling me, I was asking him questions like, okay, I'm just curious who's the most competitive. And Joel was like, hands down, Stephanie. You know, and, and he was explaining to me how me and Stephanie are wired differently. And he was saying how you need to read this book, he said, because I believe in the book and some of you may be able to, you know, fix if I'm wrong on this because I haven't read the whole book yet. But he was talking about how you got players and you need to recognize your different players on your team. You know, you got some people that are, you know, good players. You got people that are, what do he say, closers. And then he said, you got cleaners. He said, it's a difference. He said, a lot right. of people think, he said, a lot of people think that they're cleaners, but they're not cleaners. They're just closers. But the cleaners were the people like the Michael Jordan, the people where you weren't even making it to a game set. You know, the Kobe Bryant that was going, now let you, those were cleaners. And he was just breaking down, uh, you know, as far as how he believed me and Stephanie are cleaners. And, and he just saw how, you know, me just being around them, like, okay, y'all number one, you know, I'm, I'm coming for it. Like some people may think I'm crazy because they got 12 years over me, you know, but that's not going to deter me. Somehow I'm still coming for it, you know? So uh, what I would leave with you all is just to have that competitive edge, have that mama mentality, have that winner's attitude, especially if you're a believer. And you know, we come from uh, the greatest of them all. You know, there's no reason why you should not be successful, especially if you are believing. And I'm not here to turn this into a religious call or anything like that. But I will say this, you know, even back in the Bible, you know, God cursed fig trees for taking up sun and not producing fruit. He like, how could you have me? You have all the different uh, resources. You have people out here with no hands, no limbs. They're the biggest motivational speakers out here. You got people, one now a guy with one arm going to college playing D1 ball, probably about to go to the NBA. You got people out here, all different obstacles, way more than any of us combined on this call and they're still finding a way to win. So what I would leave you all with is to get rid of those excuses because there's someone who has more children than you. You may think, oh, I got four children. Somebody got 10 and they still winning. You might think, oh, I'm dealing with a health issue. Somebody battling stage five cancer and they still knowing they're going to beat it and they still winning. Somebody might have lost their entire team in network marketing and they're ready to rebuild it again. There's no excuse on why you cannot win, especially if you know who's in control and you go out there and you focus on doing what we get paid for, which is gathering a handful of loyal customers and teaches us how to do the same. And we just repeat it and repeat it and repeat it and repeat it. And before you know it, you'll be at the top like Rusty. You'll be at the top like Chris. You'll be at the top like the Duns. And the rest is history. That's it. Amen. I love it. I ain't going to sleep now. Mic drop. Ain't got nothing else to say. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Well, thank, I you. Appreciate it. thank you so much for all for, for pouring into everybody. Um, I already got messages. Everybody ready for this recording? I know I'm ready for it. So y'all got to give me at least thirty minutes, okay? But uh, the excitement, man, you, you the, the passion, they can feel it. I know they can because I can. Um, everybody put some fire emojis in there if you got something. Okay, Stephanie, already on it. Put some fire emojis in the comments if y'all got something from this. Thank you so much for your time. And, and you know, if, if everybody don't understand, you know, you have to understand that you got to have sort of a passion. You got to have just something driving you to, to just to fall in love with something. Something with this company you got to fall in love with. So that you fire your passion if you ain't got it, because there got to be a reason why you're not putting your all into it every day. You got to find something to push as your passion. And like he was saying, for his reasons why he pushed, everybody got their reasons. I look back on mine. I push because I'm happy where I am right now, and I get to do everything I'm doing with dealing with my son's autism and my dad's dementia. Dealing with all of that, I'm excited and happy for it because of my sacrifices with this company in the first few years to get me where I am now. I'm thankful for it, which gives me that passion to keep pushing to the next steps of what I can accomplish. So I hope all of you got something from this and will continue to, like I said, implement it and utilize this towards uh, getting you to the next level. Anything else, Rusty, before we get off? No, just, just don't make excuses. You can find exactly what you're looking for. If you're looking for a reason, things I don't like, you, you know, you can be whiny all you want to, or you can find the reasons you want to go get it done. 
And how hungry are you to get it done? And you know what? This is an equal playing field as I've ever seen. Been here a long time. Like he said, gather a handful of customers and teach the duplication. If you do that and you start right now, Milton can back me up. You'll be so glad you did here in a very short order. Is that true, Milton? That's true. 100% correct. All right, guys. We appreciate you, Milton. Thank you. I had more fun than I've had in year, two years with you and uh, your wife on the island. Uh, being able to break bread with you every morning. Uh, that was so special. The luau that we were at, uh, the yacht, the, all the other stuff that we did, uh, I was just uh, impacted by you. I'm always looking to impact or be impacted by by, by somebody. By somebody that's going to take it and run. And a, and a young man at his age at 32, and his, we, we celebrate his birthday down there anyway. And a young man at that uh, just had his birthday at 32, has this type of hunger. Shame on the rest of you if you're going to sit on your laurels and, and watch this go by you. You know, tell your kids that I, I was just I was just comfortable and I was just quit. See, those are the people that are predictable. But you can also predict winners. It's the attitude, but it's the action in which you take. What are you willing to sacrifice tonight to create that legendary legacy? Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night.